Hello everybody, I'm Phil Osley, uh, owner of The Sunken Ship. We started uh, a dive shop in 1969, and then we moved this to this location in 1975. Um, we started diving for scallops around 1972, I believe. At that time, the price was $1.65 a pound. There were scallops everywhere, and we had a great time. Basically, I was diving for my uh, brother's sunglasses down in uh, Mystic Islands. Uh, he would always jump in the lagoon and lose his glasses, and so I would go in and retrieve them. That was my first diving experience. If you were diving commercially, you would need probably at least two to three tanks, a good boat so you can get home, a great anchor so your anchor so the boat's there when you come up, and uh, a dry suit is the best way to go during the winter. It's very safe and comfortable. In fact, it's probably safer than dredging around uh, January. No one's ever had an accident diving for scallops uh, because basically if you fall in the water diving for scallops, you're, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Um, the problem with dredging is if you go overboard and you're not quick to get out, that can be a serious situation and people have, there have been fatalities in that respect. Usually divers find scallops are in the channels. Uh, there's a lot of Japanese moss, a lot of mussels and sweet meats. Uh, we like to go in those places. They're a little bit deeper. Uh, there's a little bit more tide, but it's basically a diver can get them easier there. They don't have to pick up the whole bottom to get them. I don't believe there's any advantages. It's actually harder to dive for scallops than it is to pull some dredges around. It's just a lot of fun to do. Uh, you're down there with the fish and the uh, hermit crabs and the bass and uh, you see what's actually alive on the bottom. It's very relaxing to by yourself 95% of the time and uh, it's very calming, very fun. Diving for scallops of course we're not pulling dredges around but dredging really has been the way to do it uh, throughout history. This is not a diving destination Nantucket. Locally I think I've trained about 400 divers here. We dive offshore. Um, we go to some nice wrecks between 50 and 60 feet of water. Good visibility. It's really fun to uh, watch people underwater and have them, uh, see them having a great time diving for these creatures. I like scallops that are just broiled in a pan with some butter and you burn the top and the bottom and they're so good. The fact that they're fresh and our harbor is very clean, it's a resource that we have to protect and uh, that's what makes it the best.